Okay, pen peeps. I've been asked what my secret recipe is for homemade pen flush. And I'm going to tell you this is not something that's brain surgery or difficult to do. Actually, I had a suspicion as to what this stuff was. Now, I don't know about you, uh, but I've bought some of this here in the past. Um, I can tell you right now, this 8-ounce bottle of pen flush retails at last check as of yesterday for $11 online. So, um, I kind of thought, all right, it kind of smells like ammonia, water, and I don't know, maybe a few bubbles. So I said, that reminds me an awful lot of this stuff, this jewelry cleaner that I've uh, purchased and used in the past that cleans up jewelry. Well, one of the things is when you get an ultrasonic cleaner, it can be used uh, to work on jewelry, just like it can be for stuff like uh, fountain pens. So, I did a little research and I found that other people have made their own and here's what I do. I make mine by the gallon. Alright, you can see I've got just a little bit left. It's getting towards time to start to make some, some new pen flush. So I will be doing that here in just a little bit. So here's my one gallon jug. All it is is an old Hawaiian punch jug that I saved after my kids finished it off. So I figured I'll make it by the gallon. Now, here's my tip make it by the gallon. If you only get pen flush by an 8 ounce bottle, you're going to be mighty stingy with it and you're not going to use it quite as much. Right here is my kitchen sink. Why am I here at the kitchen sink? Well number one, it's an old 1950 sink. It's kind of high, much higher than my bathroom sinks. So I like to work here in my kitchen when I'm working on my pen stuff. What I'll do is if I have to soak a pen, um, this is my dedicated mug. There's a reason why this is a dedicated mug. You can see I've got some ink stains in the bottom of it. This particular coffee mug, <laughs> when my wife's grandmother, true story time here, uh, stayed with us for a little while after having surgery, she decided she wanted to soak her dentures in this cup and sat it out soaking. When I saw that, I said, there's not enough disinfectant on the face of this planet to make me want to put this cup up to my lips ever again. So I just set it aside. So when I was looking for something to, to work with for pens, I said, all right, this old mug is going to see some new use. It's going to be used for pen flush and for water when I'm working on pens. So here I've got my sink. You know, I've got this little sink thing right here that my, my faucet. So what I do is I'll fill this mug with water and I'll use my bulb syringe and I'll work on um, my pens. Uh, and if I need to use pen flush, I'll pour some of the pen flush into my little cup here and set it aside. That way I've got access to both water and pen flush right here at my sink. And that makes life a whole lot easier. Now the other thing is I keep here in my kitchen as well, I keep my ultrasonic cleaner. I can tell you just recently, you know, when I put in um, my, my uh, pen sections and nibs and whatever it is I'm cleaning, um, you'll, you put them in, you pour in some pen flush, and you do enough to cover the entire uh, surface of whatever it is you've got in here. And I've had this thing uh, end up totally black ink where you couldn't see what was in it. You just lift it out, you rinse them off. Now I've had to run this a lot here lately with some pens that were given to my son. Great investment, 30 bucks or less for something like this. Um, and when you're using it, sometimes water just is not enough. So you can use an $11 bottle of pen flush, uh, or you can get less stingy with it when you make your own by the gallon. So that's what I'm going to show you to do today. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take what's residual in here and I'm going ahead and put it into another container. I'm going to start to make a whole another gallon full of pen flush. My recipe for pen flush is very, very simple. Some people like to use a gallon jug full of distilled water. Not me. Uh, tap water will suffice just fine. So I've got my one gallon empty jug. I'm going to do a one to nine ratio of simple ammonia, clear ammonia, that I have sitting around, uh, you know, fairly inexpensive ammonia that you can buy at any uh, department store or any grocery store. So I'm going to do a one to nine ratio. So, a US gallon, 128 ounces. 
10% of that will be 12.8 ounces. A one cup measure, one cup is eight ounces, plus another half, approximately 12, close enough for government work. So here's what I do. Here's how simple it is, folks. One, and about a half, maybe a dash more if you want. If you like it a little more strong, no big deal. This is not precision work. There we go. I'm done with the ammonia. Now, fill with water. Alright, now that my gallon is about full, real simple. A little bit of dish soap. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Drizzle some in. And then simply take the cap Shake real quick. And voila, there she is. One gallon full of pen flush for pennies compared to, and this is not knocking uh, retailers who sell pen flush. You know, it's pretty much the same thing. In 11 bucks, pennies. 11 pennies. So the way I look at it, I'll take the pennies, I'll be less stingy when I go to use it, I'll use more of it, get my pens cleaner faster, and, uh, you know, who knows, maybe I'll take up a retail business or I'll sell this. <laughs> no, not really, just kidding. But anyway, that's my simple recipe for pen flush. You can do it at home real quick, real easy, and uh, my simple recommendation.